Well, guys, I'm pretty upset today. You could tell maybe I've been crying. See how big Pharaoh's belly is? He had that cough that you heard yesterday, and today his belly's just filling up with fluid. It's definitely not a good side. Um, his, uh, we've been trying to get a vet. None of the vets nearby could can see him, and um, especially since we're not regular clients with any of the vets nearby. I called our regular vet, and uh, the vet was leaving the office in a few minutes. Actually, she kept telling me you need to get him somewhere closer. He may not survive a trip here, which because they're almost an hour away. And finally, she kept repeating that, and I kept telling her I've already tried all the vets that are closer, and she just kept repeating the same thing as if I was an idiot. And finally, I said, so you absolutely cannot see an emergency. She goes, well, no, the vet's leaving in a few minutes. Ah, uh, that's the reason. <laughs> that's the reason they can't see him. We finally found a vet about 40 minutes away who could get him in this afternoon at 2. It's about noon right now. He's really having a hard time. I probably am thinking that I'm working so I can't go, but I'm thinking that Tom, Pete won't be bringing him home. I never really formed a big attachment with Curly, because he's Pete's dog, you know. I mean, he's cute, and I love him and everything, but Pharaoh is probably one of the best dogs I've ever had. We're guessing his age at 11 or 12. We don't know. When we got him, the lady didn't really know how old he was. She guessed he was about three, but she wasn't sure. Anyway, today's just not a very good day. I really, really love that dog. We'll just have to see. Yep, there's Pharaoh. He looks pretty perky when he says, who are you talking to? He must be able to hear something. He looks pretty perky. What a day we've had. He went to the vet, um, this other vet in West Branch, and Pete really liked him there, so we'll go there. It's like 40, 40 to 45 minutes away, but it's closer than the one in Gladwin that we used to go to that couldn't manage to give us even any hints today of whatever, never mind. I was fully convinced that Pharaoh would not be coming home. And I was a basket case, of course, all day crying. And um, There were server issues so with the bug man, so um, this afternoon, well, for probably the last six hours of my eight-hour day there were server issues so that was a horrible thing and then with everything with Pharaoh and I couldn't stop crying and people were calling and I was like uh, trying to just sound a little sniffly and if anybody said anything I could claim allergies <laughs> spring allergies uh, what a day I have a roaring headache from crying so much and from the server issues today because it really left me unable to do my job. Um, the guy who wrote the program is wonderful and he was working on it all day and trying to get it. It wasn't our server, it's where it was hosted. And the customers, our customers are just also wonderful. They're all fine with me, you know, people calling for appointments, well I'll call you back when the server you know servers back up and they were all so nice about it every single one of them so I've got a list of who to call tomorrow hopefully the server will be back up and I'll be able to call them back I forgot to get something thought out for dinner tonight so I have a hunk of meat in there and some warm water 
and hopefully that'll thaw within the next hour so we can eat something. What happened with Vero? Let's see, I've got his paperwork here. He's on three drugs. The diagnosis is congestive heart failure, and she said he also had uh, dental disease, so she sent him on an antibiotic for his teeth, and his teeth will need to get cleaned if we get this heart thing under control. It says here, diagnosis, congestive heart failure. And then she sent him home on Lasix, which is standard for that, and um, Enalapril, which they call Vasotec here, um, or Enalapril, other places which is what they give for congestive heart failure for his heart. She said it strengthens his heart. And um, then amoxicillin for his teeth. His belly is not as big as it was this morning. And this morning it was so big, I, I just thought that that was it. Anyway, it's just been a rough day. I should probably just stop talking now. But um, the good thing is we found a vet that, we, that Pete really likes. He goes back in two weeks and I'm going to see if I can get the afternoon off so I can go with him. Um, but anyway, yeah, we found a vet that we really like and um, Farrell came home, even though I was pretty sure he wouldn't. He did. And he's acting perkier than he was this morning. So, but he's still got the awful cough. I think I'm just going to end, end the vlog here today because I'm not really in a big chatter, not in a mood to really chat a lot. So I got a massive headache from crying so much and also from the, uh, probably also from the work headaches. Um, I'll be glad to go to bed tonight. So anyway I hope you guys had a good Tuesday Rocky I hope your birthday has been really really special as special as you are if that was even possible um, and I hope the rest of you I hope you've all had a good day and tomorrow's hump day and I will talk to you then so take care God bless and good night